Hello. <laughs> um, like Sam said, it's really easy for some of your companies or whoever you work for just to go to your payroll department. You know, you can uh, have them deduct ten dollars, five dollars every paycheck. And you know, that's something I was fortunate enough to find because our Indian community within IBM advertised that to all of us. And then through the list, I found AIGC, and I remember. I got an AIGC scholarship back in 2000, which helped me go to school, helped me get my MBA, and helped me work with IBM. So this is just my way of giving back, but also uh, just want to say thank you. Thank you, Mike. And if you forget, get in touch with him, and he'll show you how to get your company to do that checkoff system. Um, there is a young woman who, uh, heard about for a long time and uh, everybody seems to know her which is in in the right sense uh, she's a good person and she has been very helpful to us since I've been there uh, in getting a major corporation to provide assistance in various ways to AIGC um, we don't often know how to approach these utilities and banks and other organizations that uh, do business with us, with tribes, and sometimes run their power lines across our land or otherwise benefit from tribal existence and do business with us as individuals. And uh, when Indian people go to work for these organizations, they're often in uh, kind of isolated particular expectations put on them. So it requires a person with a good deal of tact and diplomacy to survive and to, so to speak, bring, bring home the bacon. So I guess we're not giving you an individual award, so I should stop talking about you and get back to talking about myself. No, no, no. Get back to talking about PNM is the electric company here. And Kathy Newby, come up here, come up here. Kathy Newby has uh, been enormously helpful. Her, her boss was here earlier, but he had to run off. I think he has 17 different engagements to go to tonight. But uh, we're very grateful for PNM's help over the years, and we wouldn't get it if it weren't for you. So thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, I just want to say uh, on behalf of PNM, thank you. Uh, I think we've been uh, sponsors of the American Indian Graduate Center for um, about the last four to five years and um, been in the position for about uh, seven years now. And I, you know, I just want to commend the American Indian Graduate Center staff and particularly Stephanie Poston because it's forging those relationships out in the community that really make it possible. And um, I feel like uh, we've worked really well together in the tribal communities on a lot of different venues. Um, PNM also supports uh, American Indian education on many different levels. Uh, we, we, right now we have eight customer uh, tribes, eight Pueblo customer tribes. And we just finished making a three-year commitment to their tribal education programs um, for scholarships uh, in the amount of $10,000 for the next three years. Um, we also support the Native American Community Academy, um, the uh, uh, school, the secondary school here in the city. And we've just announced internships for our summer American Indian uh, engineering students, two headquartered here at Albuquerque and two headquartered up at PNM San Juan Generating Station. So we're really working on so many different levels to, to try to um, uh, assist and help all that we can in American Indian education. And I know sometimes uh, American Indian Graduate Center or, or students looking for their secondary, uh, their different degrees at a higher level sometimes are overlooked because there's such a need in Indian country for just, you know, just to get that first degree. So I think we've, we've tried to do a good job in trying to recognize the need for you to move on and, and be, become specialists and uh, experts in that in those different levels that are, I think is critical to our 
to our tribal communities and, and to, to all of us as a whole. So again, on behalf of PNM, we're going to continue to, to be sponsors and support the effort. And, and just thank you for the, the opportunity. Thank we you. Appreciate it. Thank you. We got a Navajo mechanical engineer. Where'd she go? <laughs> Curly. We can take a look. I mean, go hire her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to work there. Thank you. And now, and that's, I'm, I'm a modern gentleman. So I'm not supposed to talk about this bevy of beauties from Choctaw. I didn't even notice. We, uh, we get constantly emails. The Choctaw Scholarship Program. They send out more emails than a political candidate, and that's a lot. <laughs> they do all, they, I don't think they let a week go by that they're not having some kind of gathering to show their kids how to finish school, how to get into school, how to get out of school, how to do this. It's exhausting. Just deleting them every day is exhausting. <laughs> the people that work there, they read them every day. Finally, we said, maybe if we give them a prize, they'll leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They are, you know, I hate to say this, but it's kind of discouraging. I've worked one way or another for tribal governments for almost 50 years, and it kind of breaks your heart to walk into tribal offices most places. They're people that have a job. As much as we criticize BIA and BIE, man, it just kills you to walk into a tribal office. And that happens a lot in schools, too, not just grant schools, public schools. We, one of our people recruiting outreach for the Gates program went to a school and the school people said, oh, you shouldn't come here. None of our people would be interested in you. But it's an education. It's a free education. And the school people said their kids wouldn't be interested in a free education. So on those occasions, which are sadly rare, well, not rare, but they don't happen as often as possible. When you see life and enthusiasm in a tribal program, it just perks you up, makes you feel good, makes you feel optimistic, makes you want to, in any way that you can, help these people. And we don't have any money to give to the program. And we didn't know what we could do to help them, but we thought, well, maybe we can fool them into thinking that an award from us is somehow prestigious. So we'll, we'll try that. So don't anybody tell the Choctaws that it ain't that big a deal. Uh, but I want to call them up here. I want to call Joe McDaniel and bring your people up here, these lovely colleagues of yours, and introduce them. Talk about your program. And, you know, as, as I was listening to you speak, you're talking about, you know, that this, this award is not much and everything, but I cannot tell you, I can't, words can't express to us when we got the call, I think from Stephanie, she called and said, you guys have been selected, and you followed up with your letter to our chief, Chief Pyle. And, uh, you know, immediately he calls my office. We're all excited. The motivation and the boost you gave to us as a nation that we hope will help other nations, because we're all Native Americans together. We hope that, you know, uh, we can help you know, not only our tribal members, but tribal members across the United States and across the world, uh, so that we all can get better educated because we know education is the key to a better life. And uh, having said that, we were so excited when we got the call that we thought we were going to the Oscars. I kid you not. I think we called Stephen Abbott and said, do we need formals? You know, do we need ball games? What do we wear? You know, because <laughs> we're from a really rural area, Durant, Oklahoma is where our headquarters is. However, we have, uh, we're the third largest federally recognized tribe in the United States. Choctaw Nation, our headquarters is in Durant, but we have members all over. And, you know, we all feel like we're all one big community and we all need each other, uh, no matter what tribe you're with. 
So I cannot tell you this, like I said, this is better than the Oscars. And I already have an appointment with the chief first thing in, you know, in the morning, whenever I arrive on Monday morning, to share this honor with him. Um, this, is, this is amazing. I don't know, I mean, Sam, this has been great. And I would like to recognize a few of your people. Um, David Mahoudi, President, Board of Directors. Not here, He's but, not we, here. but we do appreciate him. If Thank you just you. pass that on to him for us. And I've got to meet several of the AIGC team. Uh, some of them I've met in the past, some of them I've met for the first time today, but we are honored. Thank you so much for your support. Um, we, like I said, we just love you guys. You're like family to us, and thank you so much. And having said that, now I'll introduce the people who really work. I get to, I'm kind of like you, I sit in the office and I sign off on yeah, stuff. I'm not really the, you know, the ones that gets down in the trenches and makes the work. But I would like for the girls to say a little bit about their names, their role, and what, um, what they do for, for the scholarship advisement program to make it a success. Juana? I'm Tawana Williams. I'm the administrative assistant in the office. And basically I go in and fill in for Joe or Stephanie or Shauna and I do whatever I can to help the program. I'm Stephanie Gardner, and I'm the college prep coordinator for the program. So I work with students starting in ninth grade all the way through graduate school. Um, we have about 6,000 students in our program that we counsel um, and provide you know, education events, um, college counseling, scholarships, which Shauna will talk about. Um, so if you know of any Choctaw students that need assistance, just send them away. I'm Shauna Williams. I'm the uh, scholarship development specialist. I work with our university partners and corporate partners to try and uh, produce more scholarship money for our students because a lot of times that is key in keeping them in there is uh, that extra funding. I guess that is it. We well, you tell your chief that he's a very lucky man. Thank you. And it's a very lucky tribe to have people who are so enthusiastic and run such a great program. Thank you. We are honored and humbled. Thank you. Thank you. So are we. Again, please do not leave yet. There's plenty of time to still bid on.